So what was the main reason to why you purchased Hypermill software? Well, there was various reasons to be honest, but I would probably say the main reason is parts are getting a lot more complicated and complex to, to, to manufacture. And the, the control is brilliant, but I do feel it has its limitations. So moving over to Hypermill just opens a lot of extra doors. With the collision testing that it offers, it's got trachoidal milling for roughing cycles. It's much safer. It's much, much safer, faster. So, what was the reason why Matt purchased this machine from yourselves? Um, I think uh, when I first spoke to Matt, um, he, one of the big criteria was he was looking for a small footprint machine. Um, and when he came to Wellsbourne to have a look at the machine, uh, this suited the bill. So, during the buying process, how did you demonstrate the machine's capabilities to Matt? Um, yeah, when he came along to Wellsbourne to have a look at the machine, we actually, one of our apps um, engineers put a really big block of material on where we were actually cutting around the outside of the part and it was doing a really deep pocket into the, into the part and Matt was really impressed, as I was, with the cutting capability of the machine. The surface finish was really good um, and that really impressed him. So, um, you know, I think that's uh, what led to the purchase of the machine, really. Now, Mark, firstly, let's start with the smart mix that you offer. What does this product do? This is the third generation of coolant mixing station that we've produced here at Cardiff, um, predominantly for mixing water-soluble cutting fluid with water at the right concentration and delivering it to the customer. But can't the customer do that himself manually? They can do it themselves manually, but they can't do it very accurately. This is an automated solution. This overcomes the requirement for um, what we still find today, which is somebody mixing water miscible fluid in a bucket with water and a stick. Congratulations on your second XYZ UMC machine. Thank you. How are you finding it? Uh, we're finding it great. It's given us ability now to do jobs that we did in eight operations. We can now do in two. So we're finding we can leave this machine and do another job. So we've increased our workflow through here. We've gained more orders through our ability now to hit things harder with the rigid uh, gantry style machining. We can hit a lot better. We've got a good weight on the, on the table. Uh, so we're finding all the tools now. We can put straight through here. Uh, leave them with a 15k spindle. We're finding now we can give a better service finish in the cavities here we make in moulds. Um, so our customers are really impressed with it, and we are. And I think it's a real gem because of it, the flexibility that it offers. Steve, this is the V30IT. Maybe you could just talk us through the spec of the machine briefly. Okay, yeah, as you can see, we've got a fixed table on the left hand side, which people tend to use for first operation and then move on to the uh, rotary and tilt. So we got uh, 120 degrees in a minus direction, which is towards us. That's towards you, yeah. Yeah, and 40 degrees away from us. Just really for visibility of the tool when it's working on the rear side, you can't actually see it from the front. So. We're at Ward High Tech and we're going to show you their machines of the week. So the first machine we're going to look at is the Huachon 450AL machine. I'm here at Microplus Engineering and Adam who runs the company is buzzing about this Star SW20 machine. So I've got Matt from Star to give us the lowdown. Lee, good afternoon. Good to uh, see you again. We've been learning lots about the Starag group, but uh, today we've got a bit of a spotlight on short delivered Hecate machines. Um, the I-10 system behind us is one of the most compact on the market at less than a metre wide. The tray system that it utilises can handle 180 kilograms of parts and one of our customers that currently purchased one had up to three days of lights out running and that got them over a thousand parts. We're doing, we're doing a bit of a behind the scenes here G-Man, what, what are you looking forward to today? Um, everything really, I'm looking to find out about all of the capabilities of the machines, the advanced technologies and the uh, uh, the technological advancements that have been made and um, the reasons why people are choosing sliding edge technology. We're at Empire Manufacturing, Hodderton in Hertfordshire, great success story, loads of investment in new machines but part of the thing holding it all together 
here's Hellside Track. 